chromosomes in the G2 phase that precede mitosis have already been duplicated. Each consists of two identical sister chromatids joined at the centromere. Outside the nucleus, the cell centriole has also been duplicated during interphase. Each centrosome serves as an organizing center for an array of microtubules. As the cell enters the M phase, the two centrosomes begin to migrate toward opposite poles of the cell. At the same time, the chromosomes condense into dense structures that can be seen with the light microscope. At this point, the cell is in the first stage of mitosis, called prophase. As the chromosomes finish condensing, the nuclear membrane, or envelope, begins to disintegrate. The loss of the nuclear envelope allows microtubules that now extend from the centrosomes to attach to the chromosomes. The point of attachment is a structure called the kinetochore. The assembly of microtubules is termed the mitotic spindle. The centrosomes continue to move toward the poles, pulling the chromosomes into alignment along the central plane of the cell. This stage is called metaphase. As the two mitotic spindles attempt to pull the chromosomes toward the poles of the cell in a molecular tug of war, the link joining each pair of sister chromatids is broken. The microtubules shorten, causing the released chromatids to migrate to opposite poles of the cell. This segregation of the chromatids takes place during the third phase of mitosis, known as anaphase. When anaphase is complete, the microtubules release the chromatids, which will constitute the chromosomes of the new daughter cells. The spindle disintegrates. A nuclear envelope starts to form around each set of chromosomes as they return to their original uncondensed state. These events mark the final phase of mitosis, called telophase. Finally, the cytoplasma of the cell divides in a process called cytokinesis, forming two daughter cells. Mitosis is now complete.